Why won't you be Let me do the rest. Mama, good evening. Hey. Yeah, Chinasa. Chinasa. Papa. Hey. What is it? Nothing, Papa. What, what, what do you mean, nothing? Please don't find out. Sorry. Nothing. Nothing. Go and find out. Oh. What is it? Eh? What is it? Huh? I said nothing, nothing. What do you mean nothing and you're here? Nothing is wrong. But just came home and announced that you're saying nothing wrong. Papa, please, I need, I need to rest because there's no What is the problem? Tina, talk to your mother. Why, why, why are you doing? What is your problem? Eh? Hey. Something must be wrong with my daughter. Something. Nothing. She didn't say anything. Are you serious? I'm telling you the whole truth. She didn't hey. say anything. Let it not be what my man is telling me. Let's just watch. Lucy! Mm. Hey, yeah. Uh... Uncle Joe, good afternoon, sir. Mm, good afternoon. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine. Sir, this one you came around when daddy and mom is not around. They travel to Abuja of Auntie Foma's wedding. Oh, it is true. But you would have called them now before coming back home. Uncle Joe, how many times have I told you that the school management will not permit students to use mobile phone in school? Ah, uh, uh, Uncle Joe. But I'm sorry I forgot. So I'll be alone in this big house. Why are you talking like that? Hey, can I tell you the house help is there to help you. Prepare all your needs, anything you want. Okay? Who is talking about food? I'm talking about to chat and you're talking about food. Why are come? Go on. See what will happen there. I will keep on calling your dad now Mommy. I don't know. Dad, you're not looking cheerful. Hope all is well. Yes, there's no problem. So where is mommy? I said I don't know. Daddy, where is mommy? Daddy, Daddy where is mommy now? Daddy. Daddy. What? I said where is mommy? Huh? Listen, you better take this phone, call her yourself and find out where she is. I'm tired of your questions. Take it. Uncle Joe told me that both of you traveled to Abuja this morning. Or do you have any misunderstanding on the road? Why would mommy leave without telling you where she was going to? What happened? Listen, my daughter, I gave you the phone. Call your mom on the phone and ask her where she is. And if you're not going to ask her, don't ask me anything about her again. Do I make myself clear? Can I have my phone? You can keep it for all I can. God, this is strange. Oh.
Chinasa. Please, how long will you continue like this? I am your mother. Tell me what the problem is. Let me tell you. Do you know there is nothing that this ear will hear that will make it go deaf? And there is nothing that this our eyes will see that will make it shed blood. There is absolutely nothing on this planet Earth that is new. Things have been happening. Tell us what the problem is. At least your parents, me, your mother, so that we will know how to handle it. Mama, please. Why? There's no problem. Why do you feel as if there's a problem? There is a problem. There is a problem. How can you come back to your father's house unannounced? You didn't tell anybody that you are coming home. Did it boom? There is problem. This is not my father's house. Huh. It's your father's house. But you are married. And, and a married woman should be in her husband's house, not in her father's house. Please. I am very exhausted. And I need time alone. Can you just let me be? Hey! Ekwensu! Ekwensu ira abokwa aka o! Ira abokwa aka ekwensu! Hey! Want to pick it? Hey. It's my phone now. Oh, she's not picking this call. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Hey. It, it has stopped. It has caught. Hmm. Eh? This is getting, it's getting out of hand. There's nothing getting out of hand. It's my phone. Must I pick every call that comes to my phone? I mustn't. You still in again? Pick this call and know who is calling you. Oh, your mother will pick it for you now. Pick the call. Pick it and know who is there. Mama, please leave the phone. It is like it's the husband though. Uh -huh. Oh, what's all this now? Mom, please pick this call. To pick the call, is it by force? Hey! Hey! Uh -uh. The phone ringing is not my, it's not your own. Is it your own number? Oh, is it your own no. problem? Leave my phone now. Hey, hey, shut up your mouth. No, 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 no,
Daddy, what is all this? What is going on? Honey, but you have my phone. Why don't you call her? I've been calling her, but she's not picking her call. There's nothing wrong with your mom. She's okay. What happened? Honey, like I said, there is nothing wrong with her. She's just fighting some battle. She's always going through some battle. Like I said, maybe when you get older, you get to understand what I mean. That is a time in life, either a woman or a man will get to, and they will go through things like this. What about her? Honey, it's okay. All you just have to know that your mom will get better. I want you to go back and sleep, okay? You still love daddy? Yes. Daddy loves you so much, okay? Can I have my phone now? You have a good night, okay? Martin, your brother, who is going to lead you on the procession and hand you over to the priest? I don't know. I've been calling him since. I called him yesterday morning. He told me they were already on their way to Abuja. They're supposed to be in Abuja by now. Eh? And I've been calling, but none of them is even picking up the call. Honey, listen, then, listen. Let's call someone else, okay? Let's call anybody. The important thing is that someone will lead you on the procession and hand you over to the priest. That's just the important thing. For this wedding, it must go on. Let me try the meeting. No, 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 honey, listen. No, come on, baby, listen, honey. No, stop calling them. Listen, look at me very well. You know I love you so much. Do you believe I love you? Do you believe I love you? Hmm? Do you believe? Come on, if you believe, I love for me. I said laugh. I, I, say, I didn't say you should mumble. Laugh. <laughs> Come on. Now listen. Let's go. After the wedding, we'll find out if something has happened to them, okay? Lucy, please I can't. Meaning? <clears throat> that gave me an instruction. You said I did not open the gate for you. Why now? Why did my dad do such a thing? So don't you made up your mind to go back to school? Uncle Joe, please, you really have to help me here. Come. What is your problem? I don't know what came up between my dad and my mom. My mom, she's not in this house. And I'm aware that my grandmother, she's not very afford this. So, in this situation now, what do you want me to do? I want to go to the village to go and see my grandma. She's the only person that can help me out here. And my daddy has refused to tell me the whereabouts of my mother. And my mother, she's not picking her calls. You want to travel all the way to the village? Yes. Lucy, you know the kind of person your dad is? I know. I don't want his trouble. Okay. Again, please, okay. promise me you will come back on time. I promise I will come back on time. Lucy, promise me. 
promise me you'll come back on time. I promise I'll come back. Back on time. Good day. Hi. Are you hungry? Yes. Grandma will be so happy to see you. Where is she? She's at the back here. Okay, let me go and shop with her. Let's go. Grandma! Mama! Grandma! 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 Oh, It's me! Who? Grandma! Of my daughters, I can't sleep well. Mama, don't you hear my voice again? It's me, Lucy. Oh, oh, Lucy, Mama. Mm. Oh, sorry, my daughter. I will not ask you again. How are you? Mama, I'm not fine. No. You're not fine? What is the problem, my daughter? Eh? I sit down. Um, Chibike! Chibike, Butoche! What kind of shy dish talk is this? Eh? There is no reason, she has no reason whatsoever to leave her husband's house. There is a stage a woman will stay with her husband. It becomes impossible for her to go back to her father's house. I wonder, at my mom's age, she still had to leave her husband's house. Huh. What is she doing in the village? Eh? An old woman like me, I find it difficult to stay in the village. What makes her think she will survive in that village? Ask me. Okay, call her on your phone now. Call her now. Mama, hmm? she's not picking her calls. She's not picking her calls? Yes. You called your own mother and she is not picking her calls? Yes. Okay, you will call her with my own. Because I'm sure when she sees my number, she must pick it. Um, Chibike! Mama? Uh -huh. Get me my phone. I'm sure you called her and she's not picking your phone. Yes, Mama. Get it in. What? How is it? Give it to me, sir. You see? Mama, call your mother for me. Okay. What are you doing? Mama, she's not picking our call. I told you. She's not picking even my own. Yes. Not again, is it? Call her back again. Okay, Mama. If she refuses to pick, call her. Keep calling her until she picks it. Okay, Mama. Are you laughing? <sighs> Martins. Yes, Mama. Where is your wife? Did Lucy call you? I never trained you to answer my question with a question. Where is your wife? Mama, I don't know, but you have her number now. Call her so that you can inquire from her. Can you hear yourself? You don't know where your wife is. 
a woman you have spent years with, the mother of your children. Martins, you're telling me you don't know where she is. Yes, because she left. There is no way she will just leave. Bala, you sent her out. Um, I never did. I never sent her out. If you never did, that means you know why she left. Oh, yes. Anyway, I didn't invite you here to start asking you what transpired between two of you. No. Husband and wives are men to quarrel and settle at all times. I am just giving you an order. I want you to go and bring back that woman to your house before the breaking of a new day. Am I understood? Uh, In an even level. My brother and his wife are still not picking up their calls. I just hope nothing has happened to them. Oh, come on, honey, stop. Nothing has happened to them, okay? If something has happened to them, your people would have alerted you before now. Let me ask you, did anybody from your family call you? You switched off my phone throughout today, so tell me. Tell me how they would have gotten to me. Hello? Brother? Hey, thank God. Thank God nothing has happened to you. I know you thought I'm dead. I didn't see you and your wife again. And you were not picking up your calls. Yes, um, we had a little armed robbery attack on the way. Jesus, armed robbers? Yeah, but it's not, it's not, and they just took a few things and then left. Nobody was harmed, at least, we thank God. <gasps> thank God. How is your wife? Hope she's okay. Uh, she will be, yes, she is. Oh, thank God. Is she there with you? I would like to speak with her. Uh, why don't you call her on her phone later on? I'm sure you'll be able to talk to her. Okay, no problem. Uh, and uh, how did the wedding go? I hope fine. Yes, but your absence was greatly felt. I know, I know. But don't worry. You know what your brother can do. Anytime I see you, I'll make it up to you. Better than any other thing, yeah? Or any other person that was there. Yes, I trust you. I know what my brother can do. My regards to your wife. She will hear. And please do take care of your husband for me, huh? And greet him. Good night. Bye right, bye. What, what happened? I told you. They were attacked by armed robbers on their way. Jesus Christ. I hope nothing happened to them. Yeah, fine. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard from your brother and they are okay now, right? Mm -hmm. hmm? You know, today is our day. Give me your phone. I didn't marry you and wed you to come here and sit down and watch you. Hmm? <laughs> of my mother. Where have you taken my mother to? I thought we have resolved this issue before. Why won't you resolve anything? See, my daughter, I am positive that your mom is good wherever she is. The only thing is, she's going through a battle and that battle is a battle of the mind. That battle of mind is what I want to know. That battle must be a very serious battle that made her not to pick my call. Even grandma's call, what is that battle of mind? 
I wish I had words to be able to explain it to you the way you will understand it. I would have done that since. But it shows a battle of the mind is for matured mind. They are for adults, not for children. So I, I want you to relax that with time you get to understand it. Just go and eat your food, okay, please. I said I don't want to eat anything. Ah. I thought I asked you to get dressed that I'll drop you off at school on my way to work. I'm not going anywhere. Why? Because my mother, she's missing. Who told you your mother is missing? I saw that she's missing. Since I came to this house, I haven't seen my mother. And if you didn't tell me the whereabouts of my mother, I will go straight to my brother's school to go and inform him about what is happening in this house. And by the time we stay with you in this house for a whole week, then you'll be forced to provide our mother. Listen. I don't know where your mother is. I did not ask her to leave this house. Uh, anyway, let me tell you something, my daughter. Nobody pushes me around. I work hard to make sure that you people are comfortable. That doesn't mean that I can be pushed around by anybody. Nobody tells me what to do. If you don't want to go to school, no problem. Sit down at home. Waste your life, but at the end of the day, you'll regret it. I'm going to work. Have a great day. Uh, my son, uh, Papa, the reason I called you here is to let you know that uh, when a situation like this arrives, you are the next person I will call. Your sister Chinaza came back from the city yesterday, and from that time to now, she has refused to talk to anybody. We did all we could, I and your mother, but she couldn't talk. <laughs> Maybe she just visited. Eh? It's not bad now. Just visited, uh -huh. without a car, anything, just visited. And when I asked her as her mother, when is she going back, she said she doesn't know for now. She doesn't know for now, meaning? Are you asking me? Uh, 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 look, I am seriously suspecting that. She's having a problem with her husband. Mm. Eh? Okay. Because the man called her to that last night. But she couldn't pick her call. She refused to pick that she call. She refused. Mm. Even though we tried to force her to, but she refused. It's okay. There's no problem, Mama. I'll go and see her. I will find out, find out the problem. Maybe she will open up for you. Take it easy. Yeah, please. Huh? Maybe she will open up for her brother. I doubt. Mm. Oh, come on. Chinasa, you know it's only both of us that our parents have. Hmm? If you hide anything from anyone, you can't hide it from me. Now tell me, what is the problem? Okay, Chu. The best advice I can give to you now is for you to forget about me. Enter your car, drive back to Onicha and face your business. And let me carry my cross myself. You can't tell me that. Chinas, I said you can't tell me that. How can I allow you to bear such cross when you know that it will only bring nothing but disgrace to our family? Tell me the truth. Did you kill anybody? Eh? Or did you sleep with another man? Tell me exactly what happened. If you ask me from now till eternity, I will not open my mouth to say anything to you. You will not hear anything from me. So leave me alone. What is all this, Chinasa? Eh? How can you run from your husband's house to this place and you are here talking rubbish? Mm. You better start going back home. You heard me, right? Better go back now. Oh! You want to push me out? 
You want to push me out? Okay, no problem. I've forgotten that you are the one that built this house. Come and push me, let me see. Push me out, let me see. You will see me in action at the right time. Bye. She finally spoke. She didn't tell me anything. Huh? She refused to tell me the truth. I'm going down to the city to see her husband right away. Let me find out the problem. Good idea. But you will not go alone. If you go alone, it will be a casual visit. But if you go in the company of somebody, it will look more serious. Huh? Uh, let me tell my brother as we can to accompany this. Oh, 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 oh. Let us not involve an, an outsider here. Let him go first. Mm -hmm. Let him go for a while. As you can take this other house, he's my brother, my blood brother. Papa, mm -hmm. I think Mama has a point here. Mm -hmm. Let's leave Azubike. Let me go first. Eh? Then when we return, if there is any issue, we can involve the king's men. But for now, let me go. Eh? Okay, let's see. Now, okay. I will then go with you. Eh? Yes. Then go and get ready. You are going now. Hey! Chinasa! Chinasa! China! Business. Business is booming fine, sir. Um, a kite. A kite. Okay, okay. Now what's in our goblin for me? Uh, it's okay, never mind. Don't mind me why, thank you. Okay, sir. Mm, thank you, my love. You see, I would say that uh, that a toad does not run in the daylight for nothing. It's either it's after something or something is after it. My in law, I was in my house yesterday when my daughter came home. She returned in an Unusual and ungodly manner. And uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was not satisfied with such an approach to coming home. I had to save my son. 
I'm going to decide to come and ask you what the problem is. <laughs> My in-law, you're welcome once again. But uh, I think this visit is totally out of place. Reason? You left your house in the village, traveled that distance to the city to inquire from me while your daughter, who you confirmed is in your house, came back home. I expected that the right thing to do was to ask from her why she came back home. And my law, we have bought... Uh, wait. You see, my... In law, that is no way it would have been so stupid not to have asked her before coming to you. But we ask her, and she said nothing. I did my best. My wife tried. I sent for the young, the, the younger brother Kechuku. He came home and tried, but to no avail. She refused to talk. Then I considered it failure on my part. If an elder like me will stay at home and watch. The she goat deliver in his theater. Eh? We then decided to come and see you. So that you tell us what actually happened. Yes. But like I said before, I do not know where your daughter is. It was through you now that it got to my notice that she's in your house. I didn't send her anywhere. So I'm in no position to say why she left the house. Because I, I don't know. Wait. What is? Do you mean you were not the one that sent her back to me? Well, my in law, I have said as much as I understand about this issue. I don't know about your daughter's whereabouts. I did not send her anywhere. I'm not aware that she was leaving the house, neither did she tell me. And moreover, I was very busy before you people got here. So, you take your time, stay as long as you want to while I go upstairs and finish what I need to do. If you want to go without me, you know your way home. Thank you very much. Hey! Look at you. This is strange. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. Must start talking now. If I get home and she did not say anything, Papa, she will see the other side of me. Hey! So that when they get home, they will inquire from their daughter. But you said you love me. Of course, my daughter, very much. But you refuse to tell me what made you, and what made mommy to leave you. Don't worry, my daughter. I will tell you all the time. Okay? Just okay. take it easy, and I will tell you. Where is she? I'm not ready for any question. Where is she, Nasa? She's inside. 
My husband. Mm. How did you people go? What did the, the husband said she did to, to him? Up to now, nobody knows anything about what happened. The husband said I should go back to my daughter and ask her. I didn't see her inside. Where is she? She was there a while ago. Maybe check her the back here. Hey! Oh, Jenna's out of the way. That's all right. Jenna! Oh, come and pack your things. Let me take you to your husband's house now. I'm not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Chinasa, let me tell you. I will use force on you if that is what you want. Now, okay, I'm not your mate. I am not your mate at all. I'm your elder sister. Respect yourself. Oh. That is the reason why I said, come, let me drive you. I will be the one that will drive you to your matrimonial home. Simple. I am not going back there. I can't go back there. If you were the one, would you go back? What are you telling me? I don't get it. How do you mean? I thought he told you people everything that happened. He didn't tell us anything. He said we should go and ask you what happened. That he didn't send you out. <laughs> I'm not going back there. How do you mean, Chinasa? I will talk. I will talk. You will talk? I will talk. Okay. Tell me. What happened? I thought... I didn't know. I was afraid. Talk to me. I... I didn't know the way. I didn't know the way. I don't know. I don't know how that thing happened. His sister was supposed to wear the following day, was supposed to be in Abuja that day when it happened. I don't know. I don't know. Oh! Huh? Hey, what is Please come nice. I wish I was going to know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I don't know my phone. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I don't know my phone. Sorry, I
Let's wait here. At least let's be sure they've passed really well. I swear to God, if you move out, blah! Hey! No, 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 please, please, please. please. Zico, Zico, please. Zico, so, 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 you, so you think you're smart, right? No, 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 eh? no, no, no. You guys want this? No, no, no. Come on, go down on your knees. Hey! I'm, I'm lying down. I'm, I'm lying down. I'm, I'm, I'm lying down. I'm lying down. I'm lying down. Sorry. Where's the money? No, no, we don't have any money. We're going for a it's wedding. True. We don't have money. Yeah. We're going for a wedding. Hey. Shut up. Did I ask you? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry forgive her. Forgive her. In fact, see, you. Take this gun and shoot her now. Hey, you see? Take this gun and shoot her now. Sir, no, no, no I, ca I can't Sir, do that. My brother. She, she's, she, she, she's my wife. Yeah, he's the keeper of us. <laughs> oh, oh, so you don't want me to kill you, eh? No, no, please don't kill me. Okay, now, you take this gun and kill him now. Hey, do that fast. Hey, my brother. Take this gun. My, you're my brother now. He's my husband. How can I kill my yes. husband? How can you tell me to kill my we husband? We are now brothers, right? Yes, please. Okay, fine. Uh, if we are your brothers, then take please. the gun and do it. Oh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't know you. No, no. Hey, what I, I don't know you. Huh? Now, shoot him. Huh? Kill him. Take this gun. Oh. Take this gun and I do it. Ah, Jesus. 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 Oh, yeah. Shoot him. Shoot. One. Huh? One. My brother. Shoot him. Please, please. Shoot, shoot him. Hey. One, please. One, two, ah! two. Ah! 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 Uh, what to go? Please, uh, give me my gun. Give me my gun. Guy, guy, one man. Do, do. How, how am I supposed to do it? How can I go back to that house and live with the same man I wanted to kill? The same man I almost killed? How?
not not. Let's make yourself comfortable. <sighs> I need not to be told that this is not a casual visit. Yeah. So that brings me to ask, what brings you to my house? Yes, you're right. There's a saying that uh, when you smack a child with your left hand, you bring the child back with your right hand. Nathaniel, please, I will advise you retreat from this direction you choose to treat. Because there seems not to be any road there. No, that is even where there is clear vision. The road there is clear. See, when a man stokes a fire, that same man knows the best time to quench that fire. And I am telling you that now is the best time to quench this fire that we ignited. No, forget what you see in the movies. Those days of Romeo and Juliet and all that. Forget it, my brother. Huh? It does not exist anymore. Says who? Says who? No. There's true love. True love, right? Are you now telling me that there is no amount of hatred or love that will make you kill your wife? Me? Martin, kill my wife? I can never. Let's take for instance, Ambrobel's besieged your heart. At gunpoint, look at you, look at your wife. Guy, take the gun. Shoot your wife or they will kill you. Won't you kill them? Won't you oh, shoot her? I will never shoot my wife. Uh, never. Yeah, yeah. Yes. If it were to be your wife, are you sure she will not shoot you? The same way I will not shoot my wife is the same way my wife will not shoot me. Instead, they will kill both of us that day. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, now I know you are a baby lover. You don't know what life is all about. Do you know that these women that will marry these days, these people that we call wives, are not our friends? The only friend that you have that is a woman is your mother or your daughter. Even mother is suspicious somehow. But let's take it to be that. They are waiting for a day they will hear that what? you are dead. They will now sit down as queens and princesses begin to possess their husband's property. Buildings, houses, everything and begin to live large. Don't my, you think so? Minus my wife. Ah. Welcome. I can bet you if you want. Bet me. Ah, are you daring me? Daring bet me. Let's drink, Joe. Barman, we're trying to drink for us. No, no, don't, don't tell me that, please. I don't, what, what are you talking about? My friend, what listen. Nonsense? I don't know listen, what. Listen, listen. you easily get offended. That's Why would I? See, eh? uh -huh. I tell you that you do not trust any man, any woman, not even your wife, your brother or sister, because they will all disappoint you. You put only your trust in God because it's only God that will not disappoint you. I agree with you. But that you made a wrong choice in a woman that you got married does not give you the right to talk about ill about other women like that. I am not saying that. I'm just telling you the truth. If you want, if you doubt me, let's go into a bet. For, for what? One million naira. I will arrange armed robbers that will intercept you guys. And I tell you that your wife will pull a trigger on you. Even when you are too sure that you will not pull her tie, she will. I'll bet two million, two million naira. My wife will not pull it to them. Okay. So we'll bet. Two million naira. So that's it. Yes, no problem. What are you talking about? Uh, you don't know women. You don't know women. Move yourself from there. Don't worry, place. move. Don't worry, we'll soon do it very soon. waiting for huh? when are we going to try our best oh anytime my guy anytime you guys are ready i'm ready anytime yes so what you're telling me now is that i should get the boys ready then you're going to tell us 
when it is convenient for you and where we are going to strike. You know what? I see you're very desperate to see this boy shoot me and claim accidental discharge. Is that it? Don't say that because what you're saying now is to me, you don't want me to eat your money. You're trying to find a way to run away. I'll be it. If there's anything that I'm doing, it's just that I'm being cautious, that's it. No, the only thing I've just found out is that you trust your wife more than you trust me, your best friend. But that's what it's supposed to be. That's what it ought to be more like it. But every day, we sit down here, drink, you leave your drink open, go out, ease yourself or whatever, I still come back and take a drink. Okay. Yet, okay, let me not right now. Is it by covering it? If I wanted to kill you, I would have killed you now. <laughs> anyway, now tell me. Nat, what is your point? Just hit it. My point is you do not put your trust in a man. Whether your wife, your best friend, because they will actually disappoint you. The only person you put your trust in is God, because it's only God that cannot disappoint you. Okay, I, I agree with you. In the issue of God, I'm not going to contest that. But as for that of my wife, eh? I'll beat you hands down. I'm standing up waiting for you for it. You're sure? Yes. Don't worry. We shall see very soon. You mouth agape. I am standing. I am standing up for you, man. Yes. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Mm -mm. I don't want right now. Mm -mm. I don't like alcohol. That one you put there, you take it by yourself. But just a little. Mm -mm. Make me will suit your sister. No. Be romantic for once. Leave romance out of the drink. Uh -huh. I'm not romantic. How are we going to Abuja? That's the most important one. Is it by road or by air? Which would you prefer? By air. Uh, okay. I don't have a problem with it, but what's of, what will happen when we land in Abuja? How do we move? Airport taxi now. The airport taxi will stay with us for as long as we're in Abuja, then take us back to the airport, then we'll come back. You have a point, but left for me, what I had planned to do was to drive my beautiful wife all the way to Abuja. It's been long we had that kind of long trip together. I don't want road trip. Not only that. I don't want road trip. I don't understand, just listen I to me. I don't want road trip. Listen to me, darling. You know it's been long we've been together on a trip. Like this one, we'll stop wherever we want, shop, eat, Lodge into check into hotel the next morning we can start traveling again. We just buy things on the road, you know, like that. You know, it's when you talk about shopping, you get me. You just want us to go by road. Okay, we'll go by road now. See, and I'll buy my dry fish and all of that. No problem. See, another thing that I've planned for this trip, yeah. Yeah? I've mapped out some good money. Are you serious? That I'm going to review to you where it came from that night. And what do I plan to do with that money? Take you around Abuja for shopping spree. You see? Anywhere you want, anything you want to buy. You're using this shopping now to get me to go by road with you. It's not like I'm bribing you. That's bribery. It's not. Bribery and corruption. No, trust me. I am doing this from the quantum of the love that I have for you. Hey, love. <laughs> you don't love it. Ah, I am very sick. But you, you know, know how to get me. I am just very mentioned set. shopping now for me to go by road with you. Roger, oh, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Love you too. But you know this thing would have been nice if no, you take it. No, so thank you. It, won't, on the same it won't work. Thank you. <laughs> nah. You don't mean it. It's very smart. The wife just put the trigger and the man fainted. But he just, I don't, I don't just get it. I told him. <laughs> I told him that you do not trust these women. They will always be telling you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Fuck I'm nothing. When a push comes to shove, they abandon you and God together. I told him. He said it's two million naira. Huh? I will eat it. The two million naira. I will eat it. I will not pity him. <clears throat> Boss, my dear, enter now. Double it. Papa, did you cancel your trip? Why are you not in Abuja? I changed my mind. I wasn't in the mood anymore. Why? What do you mean, why? 
What would you change your mind? So, I mean, is it like you do not know that what happened today would have been a big lesson to me? What has that got to do with your sister? Your sister is having an important event that she needs you tomorrow in Abuja. Look, you will destabilize her. If she finds you in Abuja tomorrow, you are not there. You are going to cripple her mind emotionally. You know how women behave. That's how you feel. But for me, Martin, the only thing that is my concern right now is to chill down here, have enough drink, unwind myself, relax, and feel easy, then I can go home and sleep. Listen, take my advice. Hmm? Go to Abuja. When you get back, we'll sit down and talk about everything that happened. Trust me. You must bring your wife back home today. She's no longer my wife. You know, you disappoint me. You shock me whenever you open your mouth to say a thing like this. This was the same thing I was telling you the other time. You refused to listen to me. And now I am giving you that same advice. Jettison whatever happened. What happened is not enough reason for you to break your long age marriage. She's no longer worthy to be called my wife. That's the point. Are you worthy to be called her husband? Excuse me? Hmm. That business was... Hey! God. Now what did you do? Of course that I mean business is something that I understand very well. Good. No wonder. that some people were born Bye. and others were created but very few were created say your mind do you want her listen i can go talk to her for you talk listen. do you want her no. I'm not doubting that you can talk to her because I know that you are an expert in men affairs. Uh, but please don't don't get no don't tell her anything, please. I'm not No, I mean it all. Leave all this hard man stuff. I can go and talk to her for you. You know I'm a responsible married man with kids. You are the only married man. Me, I'm not married. Baby. Not for sure. My name is Good. It's a pleasure meeting you. Good. <laughs> Do you know what gold is like? You are gold indeed. <laughs> See, my friend. Martins. Matt for short. Sure. See evil. Matt Tech Ventures Limited. Really? I know him. Huh? And I know you too. Baby, don't tell me you're a girl around town. Of course. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what? My friend, we will spoil you with money tonight. Just go. Talk to him. He's so uptight. I want him to loosen up. You know, money is not a problem. Because when we talk about money, cash, we have it in abundance. But just play your game, I hope. You understand? Are you serious? Tell me. 
know you around town. Everybody knows you in the in this city. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and I love this your bears. Hey. Fine man with plenty money. <laughs> and you know what? I will just go up there and get a room for the two of us. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's don't worry, I mean both of us will spend the night together. Don't worry, I am not asking you for any cash. I'll just go to the reception and get a room. And I'll make you happy. Trust me. <laughs> Give me one second. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Don't you like it? She's been talking your best and you're blazing your eyes like like canary bed. Are you mad? Just not the show. What do I tell my wife this night? Tell her that you want to sleep with the woman in the hotel. Hey, how can I say so? No, since you? you're a learner, huh? You're a learner. Listen, just tell her that business meeting came up and uh, you went out of town. You cannot come back home. But don't forget that people saw me driving to this hotel. Saw you? Yes. Did they see you with a woman? You drove in, I drove in, isn't it? We came for a meeting, generally, isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. So tell her that uh, the meeting lasted and all that it was late, that you were out of time, you cannot come back. But I'm not here, enjoy ourselves. Listen, what I want to do is that I'm going to call one of my girls. She will get another of her girl, so that we can be, you understand? Can one go to the Hey, you have you've not done it before. <gasps> Three, four, five, better. So we can. Do you know why? When you finish with one, you're tired. Immediately you see the next one, boom, you come up again. <laughs> you are go. <laughs> you be like a lion. You would never be tired. By the time you see them separately. Martin. Yes. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you in room 306. Baby, he's coming. He will be there straight. Don't keep baby waiting. No, 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 never. Hmm? Never. Don't keep me waiting. Oh, okay. No. See you later. Baby. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you're tired, call me. We'll do it together. I'll give you my own credit card. You understand? It is better when you do it for some, find some. Nice. You're sweet. Hello, Martins. Anim. Martins, do you know what the time is? Where are you? Why? I keep, I keep telling you that hanging out with those friends of yours is really, really bad. Where are you? You have all day to do whatever it is you want to do with them. Why, why choose the night? I, I actually wanted to call you now before you call. Please forgive me. Eh? And moreover, to tell you too that I, I won't be able to. We'll come home tonight. 
What does that mean? It's nothing. It's just our Rotary meeting. Oh. Yes, we're having the meeting right now. Even Nathaniel, Ibe, Akajak, everybody were all here. And it's like it's going to end around 2 a.m. And, and you chose to tell me now. What if I didn't call? I, I'm sorry. Sorry, uh, it's not intentional. It just escaped me. I wanted to just call you now, now, now before you called. Where's the venue? Same place where we normally have our, our retreat meeting. The normal venue. Okay. Please, as soon as you're done with your meeting, go straight to your room. Please, don't hang out with your friends. No after party, nothing. Just go straight to the room, sleep. Okay? Huh? You, don't you trust your husband? I trust you and I love you. Please, just go straight to your room, okay? Yeah, I love you too, so much. I love you even more, yeah? Good night. Bye. Are you alright? Yes, yes, yes. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Listen and listen attentively. In case my wife calls. Eh? Yes. Just tell her. Don't forget to tell her that we are in our rotary meeting that is happening now. That me, you, Ibe, Akajak, everybody that were all here. And that it will end up at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Don't forget to. Hey! Ago, ago. <laughs> we will, and another thing, eh? Call the others, call Ibe, Akajak, and all of them. Tell them. That in case my wife calls, they should tell the communicator with the same message too. Uh, don't worry, don't have any problem. See, welcome to the league. Uh, yeah. Get out. <laughs> Madman. <laughs> um, um, I go, listen, listen, listen. No. <laughs> I beg, I beg, you are distracted. Okay, bye bye, later, later. <laughs> Who is it? Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Baby. Is it, you know? <laughs> Come over here. incident last night it was just like a dream to me. Stupid dream for that matter. How did I end up here? I don't know. The only thing is that I just got drunk and started misbehaving. Hey man, easy. You see, very soon you get used to it. God you forbid. Enter the league of enjoyment. God forbid, Barton. I will never again shit on my wife. Do you know what this means to me? I went and bought regret pains and heartache with my hard earned money. What was, what was I even thinking of? I don't know. Listen, you see this thing? See that it would never happen again. You didn't see me here. I never got to this place. I'm not involved anymore. I'm going home. <sighs> now that I know you're shameless. Did you not enjoy it? Hey, listen, very soon you get used to it. This is sweet. You cheated your wife. So? With harems of girlfriends. Did you tell her no? You didn't. Does that make you a good husband? No. So why now are you saying that your wife is not worthy to be called your wife just because of a mess setup? This is deeper than setup. This has something to do with me, my person, my integrity. My life was brought to nothing. If I could stand at a gap for my wife, my wife has no more than just kitchen to pull a gun to my face. Not to talk about clicking the trigger. Listen, she has lost it entirely. 
Now I know you are totally insane. Did you not cheat your wife? No, answer. Holy Martins. Didn't you cheat on her? What is different again? No, what is different? Don't make me angry because if I open my mouth and tell her what we did, you, you'll be hiding your face in shame. If you don't tell her, then shame on you. What else can we do? What else than to send her back to her husband's house? Mama, I'm not going back to that house. I can't go back to that house. Meaning what? You want to stay back in your father's house so that our family will become a laughing stock, right? Yes. I am not going back to that house. Please, don't make me go back to that house. Tori, you must go back there. Okay, Chuma. Please, let her be. Papa, let her be. Are you the one saying that? Okay, let her be. Delicate issues like this require the wisdom of the agents. And um, we don't take rash decisions. On course of pursuing such issues. Hmm? Can you be the Kofu? Can you be the Kai Sebi? Can you be the Feelings. At all is not well, my brother and his wife. Why will you say a thing like that? After the wedding incident, Auntie Chinasa has not been picking my calls. And when I tried to call my brother to ask about his wife, he acts different. Hmm? Telling me that all is not well. Honey? You've forgotten he said there was a robbery attack on their way coming. Exactly my point. Look at that story. That story sounds good too. Nothing of such happened. I believe that they didn't come for our wedding because of the issue in their marriage. And I believe Auntie Chinna Sam was packed out of the house. No, I need to. <laughs> You don't have to say a thing like that. Even if, even if they're having issues, is I don't think it has gotten to she packing out of the house. Hmm? Sir, my name is Chijoke. Joke, your new in-law, the former husband, sir. Oh, my in-law, how are you tonight? I'm fine, sir. <laughs> how is the family, sir? We are fine. And how is my sister? Your sister? She's bouncing, looking beautiful. More than the way you, <laughs> more than the way she, she wear. How is she? <laughs> I trust you, my in-law. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, is, is your wife there? Please, can I say hi to her, sir? Um, no, she's not here right now. Um, yeah, I mean, can I speak to her? Uh, 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 sir, please don't see it as if I'm... I'm ordering you around, so it's just that I don't know if she's upstairs. You, you help me give her phone so I can say hi to her. Tell my sister to give you her number so that you can call her directly. 
Oh, yes, sir. My wife. My wife has been complaining the same thing that she, she she has been calling her and your wife is not picking her calls. That's why I, I said, I don't know if you don't mind, I, I talked to her through your phone, sir. Please. Uh, my Eloy, you know what, eh? Um, just uh, understand that my wife is not here right now. Then you can call her later through the number my sister will give to you. Eh? Have a good night. Bye. Hello? Hello, sir? My hello? <sighs> Honey, you're right. I told you. He dropped the cup. I know my mother. I told you. How could that be? We have had everything and how it happened. And I've come to ask you to please temper justice with mercy and do not allow this very unfortunate condition or situation to make you out of anger, destroy everything you have taken time to work in my family. Please. Yes, my Eva. If not for you, I wouldn't know where I would have been right now. You gave me reason to live again. You set me up in business when all hope was lost. And today, um, I'm doing pretty well. Please, my in-law. If you send her packing just like that, what will people say of you? Oh, it will appear as if you, you let down an edifice you took time to put to structure. Please. My Lord, I want you to also note one thing. To err is human. But to forgive is divine. My daughter China Sao wouldn't want you dead. Not for any reason. I can vouch for her. Everything was done out of fear. That was the height of fear. And being a woman, she was only being a woman at that moment. That point in time, please. My Lord, you're welcome. I've heard all you people have said. But I want to make something clear. You know very well that I'm not a child. I'm not a child to the extent that I cannot differentiate between black and white. And this issue that you people are talking about, none of you were there. You only acting on reported message that you got. I, Odogo Martin is the one that was involved in it. And because I understand it very well, I want it to be made clear to both of you and tell her, I do not want to see her anywhere close to my house again, ever. And if I see her, if I see her close to anywhere I am, I will not be held responsible for my action, but she will be. I beg you. I'll be in my room. When you're done, you can leave. My in-law! Welcome! Hey! Okay, you guys go big. I never go to I never go to Hey, 
mm. our enemies. Our enemies are at work. But I know what is causing all these things. I know it. They are jealous because my daughter got married to a wealthy man. They've done their worst. They've done everything. But they have failed. They have failed and will continue failing. This is not normal. At all. It's not ordinary. Our enemies are at work. Evil men, they are at work. It's alright. I can't dodge up. What in all this uh, lamentations will not help any matter now. I believe that with time, my in laws' rot will subside. And he will go back to be the good man which he had been. But then, I will repeat this visit. I will repeat again. Hey. Daddy, I'm sick and tired of staying in this house. I'm going back to school tomorrow. I mind you that if I step my feet out of this house, I'm not coming back again until mom returns. I don't care what the problem is. All I know is that mom cannot just leave us like that. I've seen my friend and she has told me everything. God knows she did. Please. I would like you to understand something. I'm all ears. <sighs> Chinasa is your wife. And she truly loves you. She's not like every other woman. What she did was out of fear. If Chinasa had wanted you dead, a little in your dinner, and off you go. But I bet you, Chinasa is not that kind of woman. Please, I beg you to please forgive her witness. Please. Can I ask you something? You said Chinasa loves me so much that she can do anything, right? Exactly. I can see that over and over again. Hmm. Can you prove it? Hmm. I'll tell you a story. So, take a look at this. Ooh! Wow! And you know, Ekenes Ashwebi is yellow. It blends with the shoe yeah. wow. and the bag. Ah, come December 26th. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Wow! I can't wait. <laughs> Once we enter the venue, eh? They will hear. Chinasa, Nega. What are you not saying? <laughs> Festival of fire. <laughs> you, this is pretty. I hear you, baby. Wow! Oh, sorry, sweetie. One minute. Okay. Hello, baby. I'm fine, and you? Where else? In the boutique, of course. Oh, really? Oh my god. Uh oh, I can't wait to see you, darling. Please hurry. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I miss you. I thought you said your husband traveled to China. Is he back? Husband? It's not him. My boyfriend. Your what? She, you had me. My boyfriend. Don't worry, he will soon be here. You have to meet him. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Hmm. Hmm. Hi, ladies. Oh my god, look at you, darling. <laughs> Baby, I miss so you. Happy to see you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, baby, you look good. Are you serious? Oh my god. And you too, my dear. You look exceptionally gorgeous this morning. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Just the way I, I missed like you so. I missed you more. <laughs> so, 
Sorry, come on. This is my friend. Her name is China Sa. Oh. Bobby. Hi. Whatever. Yes. So, baby. I was just passing and I decided to come and check in to see how you're doing. You know I've missed you. I've missed you, baby. Come on. So, I'll see you later. I can't wait. Oh, give me some. <laughs> yeah. All right, bye bye. I will, darling. See you. Okay, baby. Ciao, ciao. What was mean of that? I should be asking you that question, Onega. What was that show of shame for? What? What if someone had walked in on you? What would you have told the person? Onega. Chinasa. Bobby is my boyfriend. And we're in love with each other. I don't care what you feel about it. Are you not ashamed? Are you not ashamed, Neka? That young boy is old enough to be your son. You're still living the old life. This is the 21st century. You need to upgrade. Please. What is new in messing around with a boy who should be calling you auntie? Explain. What? Listen, this is the new trend now. Every woman needs a young boy who will be there for her at all times and as well able to satisfy her in bed. Gee, baby, our old pot bellied husbands cannot do that. They keep getting weaker and weaker every day. Let me tell you something. 95% of women, no, almost all the women, they are into it. This is what is in vogue now. Baby girl, you need a fresh blow. Sea spark. Finely built, young boy. Please, you heard me. Hold it there. Neka, let me tell you. I am in love with my husband. We are in love. I don't need no six pack, fresh blood boy to satisfy me. Anyhow, I do it with my husband. It's okay by me. I didn't tell you this story to announce to you that I have a boyfriend. I only want to prove to you that your wife, Chinasa, loves you so much. She will do anything possible to preserve her marriage. She's committed to this marriage. Unlike every other woman, Chinaza is exceptional. I can vow for her. So please. I never accused her of infidelity. Or did I? Not at all. Since that is clear to you, I want to let you know that I and Chinaza know how we started. Okay. We also know how we have been moving on. We also have in mind how we need to live the entire of our life, or ought to have lived our entire life together. Now, having said that, my sincere advice to you is to go back to your husband's house. Be a better woman to yourself, to your husband, and to the society. If you'll excuse me, I'm done with you. Okay, get me my phone. Let me call my wife. I'm sure she'll be back by now. Okay. I can get it for you. Hi, Jeffrey. Okay, call her for me. Auntie
Why is Mama calling me, eh? Her son has refused to take me back. Why is she disturbing me? She should be talking to her son, not me. Because I'm happy. I'm so happy now. She's not picking it again. Hmm? So Martins has not brought back his wife. Eh? After all I told him. Eh? Call me that Martins. This should have not killed you. Hello? Hello, Martins? Uh, good evening. So after all I told you, you've not brought back your wife, eh? Well, Mama, I've told you to always relax and don't bother yourself on anything that has to do with me and my wife. Yeah? Shut up your mouth! I think you should put on again! Oh, you want me to fold my hands? and watch things get out of hand. Oh, where? Listen to me, let me tell you. I am giving you tomorrow. If by the end of tomorrow you did not bring back my wife to me, oh, I will come to that your house and I shall know who gave birth to each other, you or I. Okay, Mama, I've heard. Good night, Mama. Give me my drums. Abuja. Through the risk, got yourself a cab and traveled that distance to come and find out what the problem is. I'm very worried because I grew up with you and your wife in that house till I got married. Therefore, there's no way I'll be at ease when things are going wrong. Please tell me what the problem is. There's no problem. And if it so bothers you, why haven't you called her? Are you no best of friends anymore? She's not answering my calls. So why is that my problem? Listen to me. I have a lot on my table to take care of. I will suggest that you get back to Abuja now that you still have the time. Or better still, why don't you just go to her village? Or you don't know your way to her village anymore? Anyway, let me give you money for transport. So take all of it. As for your transport, pay your cabman either back to Abuja or to her village. I'm done with you. I'm not fair. I'm teaching myself. Hmm? Please answer my call. Who called you? Countless number of times I called you, you didn't even pick up anyone. You want to understand, Informa? We're not quarreling. It's just that I don't know what I would have told you if I had picked your calls. I don't know. I'm here now. Tell me what happened. It's not a story I can tell you. It's a shameful one. 
No matter how shameful. At least tell me so I will know how to plead on your behalf. <sighs> Ifoma, please forget about it, okay? There are things that are better left unsaid. Please. Atichina, so my point is that nothing is worth destroying your marriage. We all make mistakes. Forgiveness is divine. Informer. Let's sleep in dogs now. Please. If God still thinks that Martin and I will remain husband and wife, he knows how to go about it. But if not, let his will be done. Mama. You're here and this thing is happening. Hmm. If I'm wrong, I have done what I'm supposed to do. I called Martins and I told him to bring back his wife to his house. No matter what the wife has done. But you know your brother now. He's too stubborn. They didn't tell you what the problem is too. Hmm. I don't even want to know what the problem is. My concern is for them to settle. That's all. Even if she cheated on him, he should forgive her for the sake of their children. Amazim, your brother is too stubborn. <laughs> Hope you're going to spend the night with us. No, Mama. I really need to talk to my brother this night because I'm going back to Abuja first thing tomorrow morning. Whatever it is, brother, you have to forgive her, at least for the sake of your children. Do you know what she did? No, I don't. That's what I want you to tell me. Tell me! I want me to tell you, but you went to see her. If it was that easy, why didn't she tell you herself? Have you thought about it? Don't you have common sense? Brother, even if she killed someone, or you caught her with another man, whatever it is, all I know is that it's just... What I want you to know, young woman, is that I need you to get ready, get back to Abuja and mind your home. It's a new home. Go and make it work. And don't get involved with what does not concern you. And that's final. Excuse me. I know you are the only one that can help me achieve it. What is it? You know about my brother's case with his wife. Oh, oh, oh. So, I've tried to find out what transpired between both of them, but none of them want to talk to me. But whatever it is, I wanted to talk to him, to tell him that nothing is worth spoiling his marriage. Yes, I've, been, I've also been talking to him to, uh, to actually um, bring back the wife, you know, but he's been adamant about it. He doesn't want to listen to me. What really happened? Well, it's funny though. Um, they were coming for your wedding. Unfortunately, um, Ambroba stopped them. So when Ambroba stopped them and, uh, you know, moved them out of the car, so they gave her a gun. They told her to shoot the husband or they will kill her. So out of fear, she now pulled the trigger. Fortunately, there was no bullet in the gun. She pulled the trigger? Yeah, she did. She pulled the trigger. Out of fear though. Well, my brother has to understand that she did it out of fear. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to uh, convince him to know that it was out of fear. And, uh, you know, he's still uh, adamant about it. But I know with time, he will come over it. She's still a shame of 
Uh, well, I'm sure with time they will. She will the guy will come over. Um, um, will come over it and uh, they will. You know, it's 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 tough though. But you know, just they said um, uh, time heals the wound. You understand? So uh, don't worry. I'll talk. Thanks. I came down yesterday, so I decided to see you this morning. Hey, uh, that is good of you. What of your husband? He's fine. Look, Lucy, I have to be fast because I'm going back to Abuja this morning and the cabman is already complaining. Is everything alright? It's what you already know about your parents breaking marriage. Auntie, I'm sick and tired of everything. Look, Lucy. You and your brother have a strong role to play now. Hmm? Both of you have to come together. Both of you have to put a stop to the single parent world. Okay. Eh? You have to fight. Come together. Make sure you do everything or anything humanly possible to put a stop to it. Do you hear me? Okay, too. Or everything will soon be okay. Hmm? Yes, That's answer. why you have to fight. You have to fight for your right. Okay? Okay. All right, then. Wait, let me... Now, tell me my ears are wide open. <laughs> I heard that she wants to poison the man's food and she was caught by the housemaid and she reported her to the husband. Hey! Hey! So this guy is this me? Mm. He's very wicked! <laughs> That's this human being! Don't and she looks her. so calm and quiet. Don't mind her. She thinks she will control her husband's money as she wants. She thinks she'll be controlling anybody as she wants. It will never work for her. Not for her. For her. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that saves her right. She was caught and the shit now belongs to her. Mm -hmm. You should be in this village with us, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let us go now. <laughs> Money from my purse. I'm asking you, who removed the money in my purse? Mama, I used it to buy. It. Hey, 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 hey. I don't want that in this house. I don't want it at all. Mama. Hey, don't mama me. Mama, were you the one that put that money in that purse? Hmm? Is it your own? Mama, the money we're talking about is just a hundred naira. Look at you. Just hundred naira. Hey, just hundred naira. Hey, Froy, he is swearing. Is that hundred naira your own? Is not, it's not Why big. are you talking like this? When I was in my husband's house, how much was I sending to you, you and Papa every weekend? Eh, hey, okay, how much you used to send to us every weekend? That was then. You are no more in your husband's house. This is your father's house. So you have to adjust. You know, no? Adjust properly. Because if it happens next time, a form.
look. I want to go to Mama Chinas house and ask her how far. How far is it? Yes, now. Nah. She used to brag to everybody in this village that my daughter, my in-law, my this, my dad. Let me go and ask her how far. Hmm. My darling, I hear that she's so broke now that she cannot even pay her meeting leave. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, that time she used to be the first to pay, and every other person who haven't paid become a god. <laughs> Let me go ask her how far my sister is. If go there, don't laugh too much. Oh. I won't laugh too much. Just open your mouth this way. Oh, no, I didn't go to your house. <laughs> What is it? Oh, are you not selling melon seeds? So what you left your house for with your two left legs is to come and ask this stupid question. Oh, sorry. I came to see your mother. Yes, I did. <laughs> Please, where's your mother? Hmm? Since you know my house too well, you should know where to find her, don't you? What's the meaning of this? Oh. Mama, can't someone rest in this house? Eh? I'm resting. You're resting? Yes. Eh, resting. What did you do? Eh? What did you do that you're resting for? Oh, if you eat breakfast, you rest. Yes, Mama, I'm resting. I'm eh. resting from the breakfast I eat. Oh, yeah, get up. Let us go to farm. Which farm? The work I do that you went to steal money from my purse now. Mama, get off from there! You need to see so. Oh yeah. Well, Mama. Uje. You're resting. You need rest, yeah. You want me to rest, yeah. Take your cars. Take your money. Take your house.
Hello? 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 Good morning, Barrister. How are you doing? Barrister, I'm not fine, no. I'm not fine at all. What is the problem? Barrister, I'm finished. Finished? What could be the problem? Do you have any problem at all with your husband? Barrister, please. Can you help me talk to, talk to your friend, my husband? Talk to him on my behalf. You're the only person he can listen to. Do you guys have any kind of problems at all? Paris, as I speak to you now, I'm not in my husband's house. I'm in my father's house in the village. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I'm telling you the truth. Tell me, tell me, what actually have you done? It's a long story. It's a long story. A long story? A long story? Now call the line. Let me call you back. I want to get every fact concerning this issue. Okay? Okay. <laughs> You know, there's no way I would have imagined that this is why you invited me to this place. Absolutely no way. Why? Because he, 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 you understand by that singular action of that thing. In the eye of justice, I'm as good as dead. So why is she sending people to, to come and talk to a dead man? Why? But you just said it now. 
Hmm? I said what? That you set her up. But let me ask you, Martin. Why would you like to set your wife up in the first place? Because there's no way I ever thought that my wife would even point a gun to my face not to talk about pulling the trigger. Let me tell you something. If the reverse was the case, there is no way I am Martin would have pointed a gun to my wife face not to talk about pulling the trigger. You I would rather die than do that. You are lying. What? Yes. You are lying. Are you Jesus Christ? Why would you tell me that you can give your life out for your wife? Nobody born of a woman can try it. <laughs> except know, Jesus Christ. You know the truth about it. I think you build, you're just stuck up in your legal system that you don't have time to relax and watch movies like The Titanic, Romeo and Juliet, and so many others. These things happen every day. But uh, yeah. we are talking about reality here, not imaginations. Okay? You know what? I'm beginning to be fed up with this whole gist. Do you want to drink or not? If you don't, I'll, I'll leave this place now. It's all right. Yes. Oh, let me right. give you time. Hello? Barrister, good evening, sir. Yes, good evening. How are you today? I'm just the same. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just here, the same as you left me. Oh, listen to me. I'm listening. I don't want you to lose hope, okay? And I don't want you to stress yourself much on this. I think all he needs now is just a little time to erase this incident from his mind. Actually, I've spoken to him concerning this issue. And uh, I know by the grace of God, he will call you back. Okay? So don't bother yourself. Hmm? I'll personally see to it, okay? Okay. I've heard all you said. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. Good night. It's all right. It's all right. Take your car. Take your money, take your house, I don't need them at all. I loved you so, but now I have to go. One thing you must know, I did it all for love. I stood by you, I did it all for love. So tell me, why don't you believe in love? <laughs> love, you see. <clears throat> Listen, it doesn't exist. Yes. Men have dealt with me. Men have robbed me on the ground. They have broken my heart several times. Men will promise you heaven on earth. Once you fall in love with them, they just throw you away. All I have decided is, Make money on them and enjoy my son. That's all I have to say. Don't you ever think of it that someday you're going to get married? <laughs> get married? Of course I do not have that in my agenda. Yes, I do not have it in my agenda. All I want to do is make all the money in this world, enjoy myself, feel on top of the world, do so many things I want to do. After all, it's not every woman that must get married. Hmm. This is deep. But anyway, I won't mix words by telling you that you're a very pretty lady. Thank you. 
You know, I think you deserve better than this life you're living. Thank you. Uh, um, cancer. Oh. oh, what are you doing around here? With the boss. Hello. Well, Actually, I saw your vehicle outside. I decided to check if you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, you want to sit down? Sorry. Yeah, can we see ourselves? Yes, certainly. Okay. Excuse me. No problem. What? Who is that girl? What sort of stupid question is that? I'm sorry, but I must tell you the truth. You better go and bring back your wife. Bring her back. Instead of living this kind of life. I don't like it. You know the kind of person you are in this, in this society. What are you doing with a prostitute? For Christ's sake. When did I appoint you to become an overseer to my affairs? When? When has it become your business to monitor who I sit, where I go, and who I talk with? No, tell me. Have you forgotten that I'm your friend and a lawyer? Well, that legal point is what I understand very well. Now I have an instruction for you. I want you to go back to your office right now. Prepare every legal document necessary for me to disinherit my wife from every deed that I have. Every company property, every, co every personal property that we own together, every corporate account, even the CAC Incorporation. I want her disassociated from it immediately. Martin, do you know what you're saying? I'm just told you. What I want and do it immediately. My sweet darling, I know I hurt you. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, my friend, it's not going to be easy. Now look, listen, I don't want it easy. I want it to be done, done. That's what I want. Well, if you insist, uh, you have to officially divorce her. Why am I paying you as my lawyer? Get the divorce people ready so that we can proceed. There's nothing. Have it in mind. There's no how you can divorce her and leave her empty handed. Certainly, you must share all your own with her into two. She takes one, you take one. I dare you ever conceive a thing like this? Me, Martin, share my entire property into two and give a woman one. It's not going to be possible. What are you talking about? I'm Martin. I labor for everything that I own today. What is it? When I went to marry her from her poor father's house, did she come with anything? No! So why must I change my property today? Please, rephrase. I understand. Have it in mind that your bank accounts, your property deeds are saying otherwise. But, but I am the one, me. I'm the one who deliberately incorporated her into the business. She, she has never been an operational person for one day. I work hard for everything that I own today. So why would I share my property? Good, you said it now. She endorsed. You did yours. Not exactly as you're saying it. But for now, that is the stand. It's either you settle her, or you divorce her, or you go to jail. Yes, you're my friend. No, no, I just don't understand it. I don't get it. Trust me. How can a man look at my look look into my eyes and tell me that I cannot take out somebody that I put there myself? I was the one, I Martin, who said they should put her there. Mm -hmm. And if that is correct, I ask, where was she when I was making all the money? When I was running around from here to there, gathering the world together, where was she? Listen, let me tell you the truth. You see the advice that your lawyer gave you is the whole truth, nothing but the truth. How? Listen, I've been telling you, bring back this woman, bring back your wife home. You've been adamant. Listen, it is better you do it before you regret it. Bring her back before you regret the whole scenario. Too late for me, how? I'll tell you. If your wife goes to the court before you and apply for divorce, the court 
we automatically divide all that you have. You know these days, there's this sympathy for women. They will divide everything that you have into two. Give her one and give you one. So it is better you bring back your wife. Just take what I'm telling you. Forget about what happened, the mistakes and all that. Forget about it. Even at that, when you look into what happened, you are the one at fault. Or do you want me not to go and tell your wife what? Oh. Because you, 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 you challenged the devil. And the devil responded. Anytime I'm telling you something, you won't listen. I've told you before, you said no. Now, I am telling you again, you don't want to listen. Um, Papa, when are we going to see our angel again? The lawyer, his friend, said we should relax for now. That he's still trying to talk to him. If you ask me, I think we should hold on with the visit for now. I know why I'm saying all this. Our family name is everywhere, both in the city and in this village. You are right, my son. Huh? But if a man has brought in into his house an ant infested uh, firewood, he has actually invited Lizard to a royal banquet. And people are always looking around, sniffing around to see what the gossip was. That's not the important issue. The most important thing is what we should be discussing now. Which is? Which is food. There's no food in this house. There's no money. We don't even have the normal small small provisions that we use to you know, hold hunger. People's farms that Mama and I used to go to uh, make some money by weeding their farm. We finished doing it. There's nobody's farm to weed again. What do you expect? That is the way it should be now, since you no longer send them money. Are you not a man? So if I can't send some uh, money to them again, won't you? Don't you know it's your responsibility to take care of them in their old age? Or should I teach you what you're meant to do? I'm trying my best, but, but I, I won't keep myself. And you have to try her down. You will bring money for food. Start from there, small, small. We're not saying we should, you should kill yourself. It's okay. When I get to the shower, I will, I will know what to do. So I keep on Okay. 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 Where are you going? I'm going back to the city. Why? Just like that. Just like that? How do you mean? Won't you give me small money to hold in my hand to take care of myself? I don't have any money to give. Business is hard. So business is hard? You, you can't find just a little amount of money to give to me? Mama is giving me tough time here. Please now just give me something little. No matter how little. It's okay. So you think I'm joking, right? I said I don't have money to give you. Okay, so why are you being mean? Why are you being mean? You know it is difficult for me to stay in this house without money. Just give me something little now. Don't be mean. Listen, Chinasa, you are not my responsibility. Did you get it? If it's when you're single, I will say yes. Now when you're married, go back to your husband's house. I don't have money to give you. Period. Please, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish talking. Have you forgotten that my husband and I are a stepping stone to who you are today? And so? And so? Answer me. I should kill myself because you made me who I am. Eh? Why do you go? Go back to your husband's house. I'm not having any money to give you. Period. Is it? Oh no. Okay, Chuku. Hey. 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 Thing. So I package this for you. Yes, is this US or London? 
This is US. Okay, that's nice. I like this. How much for this? 15,000. 15,000? That's nice. That's nice. Neka. Neka. Hello, Chi. Neka, I'm not fine, no. I am not fine. I'm not fine. Frustration is killing me in this village. I can't take it any longer. Neka, Bikono, talk to your husband for me, please. Talk to your husband for me. I want to come over to the city. I want to come over before hunger kills me here, please. Eh? Please. I've told you to stop crying over this issue. With time, everything will fall into place, okay? Please, you won't even believe what just happened, okay? Chuku refused to give me money. He was actually shouting at me. Okay, Chuku? Hey! Neka, please talk to your husband, please. Hunger will kill me here. Hunger will kill me here. Did I hear you say hunger? Oh my God. Okay, okay, just calm down, okay? Stop crying. I'll do something about it, okay? Please. Just calm down. <sighs> okay, stay blessed. I'll call I'll call you back later. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bye. I don't know why this man is so heartless over this issue. Man. Sorry, madam. Oh my dear. Oh, I really needed you. Oh. you barge into my office unannounced. I can't remember inviting you over here. So you can be this mean, this heartless, as to abandon your wife in the village. After everything, I told you. Listen, let me warn you. Let today be the first and last time you come into this office unannounced. And the only thing you come in here to do is to talk about Chirasa. If you try to get out, I'll throw you out. I have the security to throw you out. Is something wrong with you? It's obvious now that you're a pretender. You've been looking for an opportunity to send her back in. Now listen, let me warn you. If by the end of this week, you don't bring her back to the city, I, Neka, we personally put out plans to bring her back to this city. And when I do, you shall surely regret what you did. Oh, I'm scared. Get out of my office! You scalewa. Imagine them patches. Do you know, I think these people have a plan. I told you. I told you, Martins. So what do you think I should do now? You want my advice? Bring back your wife home. What? So that you can live a normal life. Never. I'll do no such thing. I can never live under the same roof with that woman again in my life. Then prepare to divide all you have labelled into two. She takes one and you take one because there is no way, there is no how she will go empty handed. That is the position of the law in this matter. Take your cars, take your money. Um, what I've come to do today is to find out the true situation of the law as regards to divorce. Is it that I'll share my property into two? Or as a friend of mine was suggesting that it's going to be into three? She takes one and I take two. What is the true situation, please? Martin, don't tell me you're still thinking about this divorce. Oh, it's a settled deal, my brother. It is. I cannot live with her anymore again. Even if she decides now that we're sharing into two so that she can take half and I take the other half, I don't care, let her go. So that I can continue with my life. It's unfair. Listen, I, I did not come here today for you to tell me or lecture me on what is fair and what is not fair. What I've come here to do is for you to tell me the truth. Are you ready to tell me or not? Well, if you insist, it depends on the woman I solicit her. If she accepts sharing into two, then you don't have any option. If she accepts 
sharing into a trade, like you said, better for you. My brother, listen. There is no how she will accept to share the property into three. As long as you want to divorce her, there is nothing on this planet Earth that will make her agree to your terms of sharing your property into three. You take two, then she takes one. It's not possible. She will insist on sharing it in equal parts. You don't know women. Their mind is at the back. My own properties. Sharing to two equal parts. Between me and a woman for that matter. Whoever told you to think about something like that? Forget it. Okay. You want us to go into our bed? Listen. I will bet you over and over again if you want. And I will pay the money instantly now. And I also mention it categorically to you. That as long as I live, it will not happen. You know what? I am the person that is fighting for divorce. And when the time comes, I will settle her with whatever I didn't fit. And that is fine. Okay. I'm telling you that there is no how on earth since you have decided to divorce her. She wants to take a pound of flesh. She will share your property into two. You take her, she will take her. Don't be even too um, a surprise. They might try two to into three, she will take two, you take one. You're laughing. Okay. 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 What's the situation report between your brother and the wife? <sighs> Honey. Yes, dear. I've rested my case. The last time I spoke to him, he said he's making arrangements for an official divorce. Are you serious? <laughs> divorce? Why? I invited you today to inform you that I've decided to pursue the divorce process between me and my wife. And also I've decided too that I will settle her with whatever I deem fit. I will not be compelled by anybody to give what they want me to give. It's only what I decide. But again, I want to ask, are you going to follow up this process for me or not? That's my lawyer. Well, Martin, I'll put the process in motion. They just have it in mind that no one decides on this case except the courts. Very well then. Start the process and let's leave the rest of the courts. It's okay. Hey, so I'm going to continue like this. Hey, you can't come like this. Listen, let me tell you, this is the 21st century. We are no longer in the dark age. If it means I, Neka, your friend, renting an apartment for you to come over to the city, I will do it. At least we'll be able to relax, look for a good lawyer. Then you put in for divorce, eh? Divorce? You heard me. Now listen. The court will order him to share his wealth into two. He goes with one. Why you go with the other? At least this suffering will end, G. What will happen to our children? We go with one, ne? And you go with the other. It's very simple. That's the new law. No, no, no. I'm still in love with my husband. Just listen to yourself. I still love my husband. You're in love with a man that no longer loves you. Come, let me tell you. You don't know your worth. 
taking a look at the real estate estimation, you're worth over one billion. And you're here in this miserable village, wasting. Just go to the mirror, take a look at yourself. You're a beautiful woman. You don't deserve to suffer. Your husband wants a divorce. So I will advise you to go and look for a lawyer who will help and guide you through the process. I don't need another lawyer, Arista. You are the family lawyer. Just show me where to sign and I'll do just that. Okay. As soon as you sign these papers, you don't have anything in concern with him anymore. His business, properties, and so on. That's why it's very important you get a good lawyer who will speak for you. Of course, you can't go empty handed. Marista, if signing these papers will make my husband happy, please let me sign these papers. I don't want anything. I don't want his money, I don't want his properties. In the first place, they all belong to him. Everything he has, everything he owns today, he worked for. I didn't do anything. So I don't need his money. I don't need anything from him. The only thing I need from him is for him to open his mouth and tell me that he has forgiven me. That's all. What did I get myself into? Look at my life. If only I listened to my wife, my lovely wife. Only if I'd listened to her and avoided my friend. I wouldn't have been in this mess today. Look at my 
my life? Where do I start from? Where do I run to? Who do I run to? Huh? God, please, please, please help me. Help me, God. Help me, <clears throat> my, my in laws, my wife. Please, I. I've come to ask for forgiveness. I allow the devil come into our home, me and my wife, to break our love. It's actually me, yes, me that caused it. What? Yes. I, I was the one who organized what seemed like a robbery attack on us. Oh? It's just to test the love my wife has for me. Martin. If I had known, I wouldn't have listened to my friend. Because my wife warned me. Please, my wife. Please. Martin. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. Please. I, I, I still love you. Please. Since you have said to come back for your wife, there's no problem. Hey! Mm. My in-laws, I'm sorry for the way I acted. I... You don't need to be sorry for anything. You did what you're supposed to have done. And that was what every other man that is reasonable would have done. Because she's in that situation. Oh, it's okay, my, my in-law. Uh, the most important thing is that you're now here to reconcile with your wife. And we're happy about it. It's okay, go. Oh? You know? Honey. You have heard everything. Please. Why don't you just go in and get your things so that we can go home? It's a pity that things turned out the way they did. It's, it's a pity, but I am glad that you have forgiven me and I have forgiven you. But I'm sorry. I am not going back to that house with you. Uh. Yes. I will not live under the same roof with you, Martins. <laughs> uh, Mariano, please don't be embarrassed. Uh, she used to joke at times. Papa. I am not joking. I've already signed the divorce papers and they are binding. Hmm. Martins, I warned you. I warned you not to trust those guys you call your friends, but you didn't listen. You chose to trust them. You turned your back on me. You didn't trust me, the woman you called your wife. Now you want me to go back to that same house and live under the same roof with you. Chinasa. It's not going to happen. I can't even bear the thought of sleeping on the same bed with you again. Chinasa. I can't marry you again. I'm sorry. Chinasa. Wait, wait, wait. It's one about. Chinasa. Hey. Hey. I come back. I'm coming. Chinasa. 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 Hey, Chinasa, are you out of your mind? Eh? What are you trying to tell me? That you've not learnt anything from the little time you've been in this village? 
you want to continue suffering? For? Mama, it is better for me to suffer. It is better for me to suffer than live under the same roof with a man that claims he loves me but goes behind my back to plan evil against me. God forbid. Eh. Yes. Asiocha. Asiocha! Your mother said Asiocha. Not in this house. Mama, no problem. I will leave your house for you. You see this your house? I will leave your house for you. But if it is to go back to Martin's house, God forbid. I will not go back to that house. No Didn't you hear what he said? Didn't you hear it? I will hey. not go back to that house. Oh. God what forbid. Hey! Shinasa! I am sorry for this embarrassment, uh, but I am sure she will go with you today. Please, don't worry yourself. You know she's a woman, she must behave as such. Look at her pardon face. You must accommodate that. Hmm? I do not intend to argue with you. Because she's your daughter. And she's also my wife. And there's a stage where a man and a woman would live under the same roof. They would understand themselves and be able to say what this or that person can do or what they can't do. They will understand their strength and weakness. As for my wife that I know, I don't think she was joking. From the things I heard from her today, those are no joke. But anyway, I keep my fingers crossed. It is true that you are her husband, but that has not cancelled the fact that she still remains my daughter. And I know her more than any other person. And I know that she must surely go back today with you. Eh? Wow, man. It's that far easy. I know. Um, what did she say? I know. Just, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that girl, but, uh, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Huh? Just calm down. Everything. Uh, my in-laws, um, there's no need of a flog in this issue. Absolutely. In case she turns around, please do let her know that my home is still her home. She's welcome anytime, any day. I have to be on my way now. Thank you very much. Okay, Anata, baby. Bye bye. Okay. Well, let me see. So, what you are telling me now is that you will remain in this house and be disturbing me with monetary issues? Okay, to pocket your money, I don't need it. I am going to the city tomorrow. Pocket it. Huh? City? Why will you be staying in the city? And besides, who will take care of you then? My friend and I have made proper arrangements for that. And the money you need to take care of yourself? As soon as I get to the city, Papa, I'm going to start up a petty trading business. A friend of Martin has promised to give me two million naira. Shinaka! No. So because of common two million naira, common two million naira, that's why you want to leave your husband, Martin. Maka two million naira. Mama, I did not marry Martin because of his money. I married him because I thought we were in love. And as things are right now, I cannot go back to him. I have to start my life all over again. Hey! I remember the call of Naya. I thought she was joking. Papa, I'm not joking. I'm very serious. I am not joking. This is life. Hmm. I've been calling this woman from yesterday night till now and she still refused to pay my call. That sounds right. Huh? You heard me very well. I was begging you not to divorce your wife. You insisted. Now it's her own turn. Oh, my friend, I did not come here for you to remind me or blame me of the things that I should have done or did. I came here for you to help me. Call her and beg her. Talk to her. Am I asking too much? 
Martin, yes. I will do no such thing. You set her up in the first place. You refused to forgive her. And now you want me to talk to her on your behalf? I'm not an idiot. Look at me, I'm not an idiot. Oh, please, I, I thought we were friends. That was before. Yes, of course. Eh? Yes. Let's stay together and never fight no Very good. That serves him right. He thought I was joking. He was just looking at me like I was joking. But I had already made up my mind. I was not going back. My only regret is that he did not pursue your right. The court would have made him split his wealth into two. By now, he would have got billions of naira. Yes. I am happy the way it is. Let's just let's just leave things the way it is. Look, I married Martins not because of his money, but because of the unconditional love I had for him. If I had left his house with something, he would have read another meaning into it. I needed to prove a point. Let him go with his money. I will survive with or without him. You're right anyway. And you refuse to pick my calls. Why? I can't remember giving you a check checkup call to say that I would like us to meet here today. Uh, excuse me? What's the meaning of that? See, 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 listen. I told you that there's no way you would divorce your wife in court, that both of you will not share your property, your wealth. She will take half and you'll take the rest. I told you. I'm sorry to bust your bubbles. That same wife of mine that you're talking about left my house without a pin. I made it categorically clear to everybody that cared to listen that she does not need anything from me since I said I don't want the marriage anymore. <laughs> Stories that touch the heart. My friend, you're kidding me. I am not. You just painted it on the surface. Anyway, so let, me, let me save you the chase. Why should I be mixing around with you? The havoc that you have wrecked in my family and in my marriage have had it up to here. And therefore, I don't need your relationship anymore. I want you totally out of my life. Are you oh, out of your mind? I am not out of How my mind. How can you be saying such a thing? Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you mad or something? I did not invite you here. If you don't want to live here for me, I'll live here for you. Now I've confirmed that you are mad. My friend, sit down. Oh, you walked out on me. Oh. Okay. Daddy. Take your cars. Take your money. His mom back. No, that is why I've come to see her. We don't have anything to talk about until she comes back. Honey, please, please, just, just hold on for me, please. I, I understand how you feel. I've actually called your mom, begged her to come back. But she refused. I, I, she's still upset with me. She even went further to say that she's not, get, she's not married to me anymore and that she does not want to be your people's mother again. What? Yes. As it stands now, honey, it's only you and your brother that can make this marriage work. You need to beg her, you need to talk to her, please. Okay, daddy, I've heard.
watching us, sir. Eh? Leave those ones, sir. Come over here. I should leave these ones. I want to see the latest arrival. Are you serious? Yes. This is, these are the ones I just came back. Hey! You know, I love blue. I know. Oh, this is nice. This is really, really. These clothes are lovely. Wait until you see this one. Hey! Hey! Oh, who is coming? Yes, this is she. Yes. Jesus! Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes. What happened? Hey. Wait, hospital! Wait, hospital! Oh, God! What is it? Wait, 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 wait! Lost. Oh, Lost. 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 Please, they called me, my daughter. Say something, please. Why are you keeping quiet? Eh? Can somebody help me? Say so Martin, where is Lucy? They called me. They, they said she had an accident. Where is she? Martin, say something now. Answer me. Where? Hey. Hey. Because I'm going to stop her and I can't stand this. 